First service type is cluster IP. Cluster IP service type enables a virtual IP inside the cluster to enable the communication between the apps inside the cluster. As you see in the diagram, service will get the internal cluster IP. Client port can connect to the below ports through the cluster IP service IP address as well as the DNS name as we discussed earlier. Assume that you have an Nginx deployment which is running inside the cluster like this. So you create the deployment with kubectl create, deployment, nginx and you pass the image, port and the replicas. So once you create the deployment, you will have the port labels with app, the value would be nginx. We need this information to configure our service. We can create a cluster IP service to expose this deployment with this command kubectl create service cluster IP and then you will be providing what is my service name nginx service and afterwards you need to provide minus minus tcp what is the port and then what is the target port in that container and you can export this service definition using dry run uh, client and then minus o yaml so the yaml definition of the cluster ip service would look like this and then you can see the kind is service and then you have the service name app under the spec type, you can see the service type is cluster IP. If you don't define a type, by default, it will be considering as a cluster IP service. And then under the selector, you need to define what is my deployment pod labels. So in that case, as we mentioned a little earlier, my deployment will have the labels app nginx. So in that case, I need to make the change here, app nginx instead of app nginx service. And afterwards, under the port section, you will be defining what is my port name, some arbitrary name you can provide, and then you will be providing the port, and then what is my target port, and afterwards you can provide my protocol. Example here is TCP. So once you have the YAML file ready, you can create this service using kubectl create minus f and the file name, and then the service will get created to get the services you can use kubectl get services command. The short form is SVC. And once you get the service, the cluster IP address, you can see it in the output. When a service is created, internal Kubernetes creates an endpoint resource to proxy the traffic to the pods based on the selector labels. So you can check the endpoints, which is created by the service using kubectl get endpoints command or kubectl get EP. Under that, you can see when we make a call into the service where that traffic will be routed to. You can see all of these three ports, IP addresses, as well as the port when you list the kubectl get endpoints command. You can try out this service with a busybox port like this, kubectl run busybox minus minus image busybox. And then I want to remove this port automatically after running this command because of that I'm including minus minus RM and then interactive mode minus IT. We start never and then I'll be executing the wget command with the http colon slash slash my service name nginx service. So once you execute that command, you will get the nginx homepage output in the console. So in addition to the URL, you can use the uh, services cluster IP address as well in this wget command. In that case, also you will get the same output. In the exam, if you are asked to create a pod and expose it with a cluster IP, you can do both pod creation as well as the service creation in a single command like this kubectl run and then your pod name. Let's say if you are asked to create a Redis pod and then you will be passing the image Redis and then whatever the additional commands and then you can mention the pod and then when you put minus minus expose, in addition to the port creation, it will create a cluster IP service and then expose this port as a service. You cannot use this minus minus expose flag with the kubectl create deployment commands. So once the deployment is created, you can expose the deployment using another command like you see in the screen, uh, kubectl expose deployment and the deployment name. And then you can provide what is my service name using minus minus name flag and the type of my service is cluster IP and my cluster IP service port is port 80. Target port that will be the container port would be port 80. So when you run this command, 
it will expose the current uh, deployment by automatically picking up the deployment pod template labels as the selector and then create the cluster IP service. You can use the same uh, command with expose pod to expose an existing pod as a service.